All right. Day 25 of retirement. It's Tuesday, January 12th. So I'm trying to pay some bills on here. Um, I'm just so... Not behind, but it's like... Well, my pension checks haven't started yet. Man, I don't want to put financials out there and, and put a lot of my business out there. But like I told you on a video prior to, make sure you put money in an individual retirement account or you know 401k, thrift savings. Put something into that because that's going to be your play money that, uh, I, I mean... <laughs> To, to tell you how much money it's making right now with me not touching it is ludicrous. <laughs> I want to sit back and just watch it. <laughs> because, uh, yeah, it, I'm good. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. Um, first, let's talk about... Um, this photo right here is something we rolled up on at West Lanham. And this goes back, so I like to try to tell you stories now and again. But, um, so this fire was during a power outage. Like, we we got hit with a hurricane, or I forget, I forget what it was, just for how long ago. Does it even say? I say maybe there's a date on the picture. But, um, we rolled up on that. The cause of the fire, we know what the cause was now. We didn't, I mean, we knew afterwards. But uh, they were running a generator to power their house because we didn't have power. Nobody had power. I didn't have power in my house either. Um, nobody had power and, and they were running a generator. So the generator was right on the back of the house, like right at the back of the house. So it ran low. They took gasoline and went to fill it up. Do I need to continue with this story? I don't need to continue, do I? So, gasoline rolled down the side of the hot engine that's been running everything else. The gasoline lit up. They dropped the gas can, went right up the back of the house, back of the house, into the attic. Attic's off. If you, and if you look at that picture, and I'll put it up again for you. If you look at this picture, um, looking how the smoke's coming out of the eaves and everything else, it's pretty obvious. But, uh, I remember running in there. You didn't even need to breathe air. I mean, it was smoky, hazy, but you can see how how dark that smoke was. That attic was off. We went in. It was like, there's barely any smoke. Is there any fire in the house? And we went out back, and you could see there was a back room off and uh, where it went up and, and in. So I had a hook on me. Everywhere I poked, <laughs> I poked up. You could see fire. I was like, oh, ran back over to the main entrance, poked up. Oh, I said, let's work back to the main entrance and start opening and go in. That way nothing f drops, drywall starts dropping. You know, we hit it from one side of the house and drywall falls on the other. You're going to have drop down. We're like, Let, let's get back to the entrance of this house. We opened up. We're, and again, wherever we opened, it was nothing but fire. That whole attic was off. So we got a couple lines, started, you know, working our way in. Not that we had to like, you know, it was all truck work and opening it up. It wasn't like fire over our heads rolling. It was all in the attic. But you had to drop everything down. So we got everything dropped down, put the fire out, and figured it out. But like I said, pulling up on that, if you pulled up on that, and I'll put the picture up again. Um, do you know where that is? Do you know? I mean, that could be a back room going in the attic. I mean, you don't know, but that smoke, I mean, I wish I had video. Um, I, I snapped that. You can see my mirror in the picture. I snapped that pulling up and, and, uh, you know, got dressed and went in, but it was like, whoo, that was, uh, that was a good, that was a good fire, but it wasn't like fire over your head crawling down a hallway fire. But I mean, it was a lot of fire, but, uh, yeah, just drop the attic on the attic, drop it down. I mean, that's good. You know, that's good. It's going to flash. It's going to whatever, you know, pressure building up in the attic, all of that. You know, could we have opened a hole? Maybe. I don't think it needed it because I think it had burned burning up there for a while. Here to there, we dropped that drywall on the first floor so fast. We had water on that fire before cutting a hole would have mattered. Within, you know, like I said, I don't have any other pictures on that fire. But, man, that fire was out. It was out pretty quick. 
So that's your story. That's your smoke reading today. I know it's kind of like there's not much to it, but it's a cool picture. I wish I had. I wish I had video to go with it. I really do. Um, this morning, I say the boys doing their online school. They were doing their online school. They hit a. Uh, they hit a water rescue which is not uncommon around here at all. So, you know, I looked on my phone, and uh, normally it's out. I looked on Pulse Point. Normally it's out in the water or something like that, and I looked, and it said it said the Pulse Point was reading on land. I was like, that's weird. And they usually have real good coordinates. I was like, that's weird. So I was like, let me drive up there because it's not far. And then, and then my friend uh, who was in my wedding, I, you know, I don't want to say his name, but everybody, if you know who I am, you know who it is. But uh, he's he was working. He's working to that. He was working, and uh, I knew he was in the front seat. I was like, "Cool, I get to see my friend." So I just dilly dallied on up there, went went to check it out, and uh, and I, I you know I'll give you some audio from the call. So we get there, and uh, well, I get there. I get there. Dude's out in the water yelling for help, and uh, you know, I got rope and stuff in the back of my van. So I grabbed, I grabbed like a fifty-foot length of rope, and uh, I did not have my throw bag. So it's in the car now. I got home and put it right back in there. But um, so I go out, and he was he was out there. He's probably about one hundred and fifty yards out there, and he was floating on his back, and he was saying help. So it wasn't like he was sinking, bobbing, or whatever. I was like. They got boats coming. I was like, you know, let the boats get them. And uh, the rangers were out there. The park rangers were out there. I think DNR was showing up. And and uh, like I said, uh, Anne Arundel had, had their stuff coming, man. I was just, hey, if you could save them real quick, I was going to jump in and save them. But it, it wasn't at that point. So I just watched. I stood back and watched. So my friend got there. And, uh, you know, he got on the radio with the fireboat. Fireboat whittled its way up there. I watched and they hooked them. Pulled him up onto the boat, took him around to uh, to the dock, got him in the ambulance, and uh, I don't want to say his conditions, just HIPAA and everything else, and I know people in the neighborhood watch this, so I don't want to say what his conditions were, but they did fly him out. So I was like, well, that's cool, helicopter, helicopter's coming, you know, I'll go check the helicopter out. So, um, so I drove by to school real quick, here's the helicopter. type of stuff you know that's the cool excitement you know I don't live for but again I got a 10 minute rule <laughs> if it's farther than 10 minutes away man I'm not going um, I'm not chasing fire trucks or whatever but everything out here like I said if that guy was actually closer to shore you know I could have probably got him he was conscious I don't know about alert but he was yelling help you know he get him close enough where I could have thrown that rope at him and pulled him in I mean I could have made a difference I at least I at least went and looked. You know, best I could do. I went I at least went and looked. Talked to talk with my friend for a while, so that was nice. Um, you know, I I've talked to him on the phone a couple times. I text him, I just I was just texting him earlier. But uh you know, I got to jibber jabber with him, you know, face to face. That was nice. See him, you know, we're both wearing masks and so we're all, you know, what'd you say? What'd you say? <laughs> you know, so what you gonna do? And then uh so it was a cool day. Yeah, it's still daylight out, man. It's just, that's the kind of fun I have. Typical day, but like I say, I'm paying bills now. Um, I made a couple TikToks, you know, check my TikToks out. I throw stuff up when I can. But uh, that's me, that's my day. Um, day 25 of retirement, January 12th, Tuesday. And uh, man, I'm loving life. Yeah, loving life, man. So... 
do me a favor and hit that hit that like. I don't care if you subscribe or not. I really don't. It helps. I'm trying to get a thousand subscribers. YouTube has you like in tiers, and they always send me stuff. I'm one of their creators. They send me stuff, and, and I'm trying to get to a thousand is the next step. So yeah, if you guys can hit subscribe, don't even click on the notifications where they send you stuff. I don't care. But if yeah, if you can hit subscribe, that would help. Hit like just for some like engagements. The more engagements the video gets, YouTube sends it out more. I'm not really looking for the views. I'm looking for the followers, if that makes any sense. Because I'm boring and I ramble just like I am now. Man, I ramble about some dumb stuff. So I'm not really interested in that. But it'll get better. I'll tell better stories. Uh, you know, I just had that go on earlier. So I thought I'd share share the story with you. But uh Tuesday, day 25 of retirement, man, out.